again with another video and uh, just before we start here in the UK we're going into another lockdown for a month starting from tomorrow so a lot more indoor activity okay so hopefully a lot more videos coming from me all right guys but well, let's kick this off with buy down all right i just want to do an update on a few uh, charts uh, that we've been looking at over the week so buy down obviously we saw that it was being listed on hotbit exchange uh, we had this sell off over here it then got a bullish engulfing candle and it did continue to the upside so if you did buy the bottom of buy down you would have made roughly about 85 percent uh, approximately uh, to the upside okay now it's had a bit of a dip a bit of a pullback um, for me I'm not sure whether this will continue to the upside at the end of the day but um, it has put in a higher high over here so like I've said in recent videos we need to see higher highs and higher lows to the upside it is trying to come back here but um, you know if it gets rejected and moves to the downside at the end of the day you still need to maintain a higher low um, above this level if it's possible or above this level if it's possible and then there could be some more upside for buy down at the moment looks like it's getting a rejection that we expect um, from this resistance over here let's just put a line in uh, from this resistance line over here boom and um, yeah time will tell whether that can get back up over that level okay moving on to lucky all right this is one that will be trading in the group it does look like it wants to make a new all-time high first discovered this at about 400 dollars at the day of its inception okay um, yesterday it went up to a peak of around 1850 dollars okay a little pullback down to 810 and then back up to 1579 where it's currently sitting all right if you don't know about this one um, you have to check out the website um, there's only 97 tokens total supply on this which is why it caught my eye initially all right guys but yeah this one could be a good one um, and we'll have to wait and see whether we can, we can be a breakout into a new all-time high it's very rare that you see a triple top we've got a top over here top over there if we can make it up here i think it's likely that it's going to break that level and continue to the upside so that would be lucky or crypto luck okay so you can check that out on dex tools got a contract address just type it in all right there's a few on there but make sure you're looking at crypto look when you get on there okay now keeper keeper is seeing more downside okay what we saw was on telegram there was an announcement yesterday to say that keeper or keep free vr uh, whatever you want to call it right will be listed on binance okay so that caught a little bit of fomo we saw this bullish candle over here okay but it failed to get the continuation to the upside and take out this resistance level and um, now it's going back to the downside okay difference between this and uh, what you've seen on buy doubt buy doubt had a big candle okay it hit the resistance it then came down and then it actually started moving to the upside if you look at key back key free r now the bullish candle came down all right and it failed to continue to the upside so no continuation on keeper i tend to stay away from very mainstream tokens like this because it's so easy to, to, to manipulate the price anyone will think it's easy to manipulate the price on low cap gems which it is but um with uh high cap gems like this and um it's well it's still quite low cap but with high liquidity gems like this all right uh whales are attracted okay because they can put massive buys and massive sell orders on and it's likely that it will get filled quite easily because of the high liquidity so when you talk about a uh, whale manipulation these are the kind of coins that we will definitely see a lot of that of and obviously this is heading to the downside uh, whether it's on Binance already um, which it doesn't say uh, not just here anyway okay but um, once it does get on Binance perhaps we'll see the price begin to increase on that but um, yeah it's not one for me personally but i thought i'd just give you a quick update on it considering the fact that a lot of people are interested in this token uh, merely because of the fact that andre Cronje, the founder of yearn finance founded this token and yearn finance went to 43k as we all know you know i'm not sure what the price is doing right now in fact let's just have a look and see what's going on with yfi 
okay yeah that's disintegrating as well all right um, all the way down to eight thousand six hundred dollars a lot of people will see that as a good buy i personally don't i think that's got a lot more downside uh, personally uh, potentially even to the bottom just like we've seen with a lot of d5 protocols all right um it's, the, the next support level is way down here guys let's just put a line in on your own finance we're looking at this level potentially okay about about four thousand six hundred dollars approximately okay don't be surprised if it does go there all right you can see look at that sell volume coming through even there we're on the one hour chart okay let's just increase the time frame let's go on the one day okay look at that for a dump that is a bit of a dip isn't it guys last thing you want to be doing is holding these d5 tokens for long term in my opinion okay mid term is fine okay long term hold uh I'll, i would i would uh you know kindly um you know advise against that i'm not a financial advisor do your own research make sure you uh do that when you're investing in cryptocurrencies before i put out there before anyone starts trying to say that i advise them not to or I advise them to but um yeah yeah finance is taking a bit of a dip you can see over here what i did mention a little while ago in the group was that we had this massive head and shoulders pattern okay you got uh, left shoulder head right shoulder and that would continue to the downside okay a measured move of that target would be from the head to the neckline okay and then you come back and put that in the neckline that is a perfect measured move guys i didn't even know that yeah so that is a perfect measured move all the way down to the support level so that is what i'm looking at for year finance potentially i'm not even looking at year finance i just did that for the sake of this video all right you can see that is a that was a plan that is a perfect measured move all the way down from the neckline from the top of the head to the neckline from the neckline to the bottom you bang on on this uh, support level down here okay so that is what i will be looking at for you and finance don't rush out and buy it despite what anyone sees in my opinion okay we're not financial advice all right finally let's have a quick look at dmst dm script okay so i posted in the group yesterday the fact that this to me looks like it could be a big uh, cup and handle pattern okay potentially all right you can see the uh the cup there uh i'm not good at drawing these lines guys but a cup and then you get a handle that could potentially be some upside for dm script they also have some news okay let's have a look see what they're saying all right dm script um right so first of all they've got a hard marketing campaign in preparation for Higlo's demo and showcase so we've got this thing called Higlo okay you'd have to check this out for more information because I'm this is just a quick update I'm giving you guys all right okay so um yeah they're also having an AMA and ask me anything uh Friday okay 6th of November at 2 p.m all right and there's a countdown timer for that you can check that out in the telegram okay whether that will make the price move I don't know all I'm saying is in my opinion it looks like it is on a kind of cup and handle trajectory and uh, we could potentially see some upside in DM script if you're willing to hold that that's not gonna ha happen overnight that would be a midterm hold and uh, don't quote me on that because at the end of the day if it does go down please don't blame me make your own choices do your own research all right uh, carry out your own analysis as well and make your own decision okay guys but that is it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Okay? Also, you can become a Patreon. The link is in the description for that. Okay? And that gives you access to the Telegram group. Follow me on Twitter as well. The, the, it should be on the screen. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.